What's up guys, Felix here from Vemify. Welcome to my advanced tutorial for our seamless transition pack. This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to use and how to install our transitions in Premiere Pro. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos. Now let's go. Let's import the transition bundle. There are two ways to import the transitions. You can double click in your project window and import them this way or go to File and click on Import. Open the Vemify transition folder, go to the main project. And this is a really cool feature here from this pack. You have already some pre-made project files with different resolutions. So my project is a 4K Ultra HD sequence, so we can use this one. And as you can see, you can drag and drop this here in the project window or select this one and say Import. And for sure, you can always change the resolution later on. Okay, at that point, make sure to import the entire project and select these two boxes, create a folder for your imported items and allow imported duplicate media. And hit OK. If you install the transitions for the first time, there's popping up a link media screen that says missing media for these clips. But at that point, no panic. You will see this pop up only once. The reason is that Premiere Pro is telling you that it can't find the path, here this is my path of Felix Renderat, where the transitions was made. So this media needs to relink. Therefore, click on locate and search for the Vemify original transitions folder and hit the search button. Hit OK and all will be done automatically. And the render files can be skipped. And now you have successfully installed your transitions in Premiere Pro. As you can see, you have two different folders. One is to change the resolution at any time and the transition folder, where you will find all the different categories of this seamless transition pack. Here's one important step at the beginning to use our transitions in the best way. This is a really important step, so maybe you have switched the current view to the list view. Therefore, you have to switch the current view to the icon view. This is really important. With the icon view, you have this nice preview for every transition. And before you can use our transitions, there are two important steps. You have to disable the nest here. And you have to deselect the video track one. If you don't follow these steps, you will always see here the preview video on your timeline. And here's the reason why our seamless transitions are so popular. The only thing you have to do is to drag and drop our transitions into the timeline above two clips. And make sure to drag the transition in line with a cut. And as you can see, there are also switches included. And as you can see, this works really well and you have this nice cool power zoom out. And as the name says, you have over 500 transitions in all these different folders. Let's create a center rotation transition on the next one. Maybe, yeah, from this one, this is really cool. Just drag and drop it here on this cut. And keep in mind that not every transition is working well on every cut. So you have to search and try different categories before you find the perfect matching transition for your footage. At the last part in this tutorial, I will show you how you can change the resolution for your transitions. Let's say we are using a power zoom out here on our sequence. And as you can see, the resolution is correct because we have installed the 4K project. But let's say for an example, we want to change the sequence resolution to create an Instagram story format. Therefore, you have to go back to the overview, click on change resolution, go to your sequence GIF and hit a right click. Click on replace footage, go to your transition folder, select the main project, go to footage and select change resolution GIFs. At this point you will find a lot of different resolutions. Here a quick note, 
If you need another specific resolution, you can also check out the tutorials on how to create your own GIF. Yeah, This is a one minute tutorial and you can easily create your own GIF with Photoshop. But let's go back to our pre-made GIFs for you. And we've talked about the Instagram story format. So let's select this one, hit on open. And as you can see, the format has changed. And for sure, you have to change the sequence settings. Okay, that's it for the resolution settings. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and do not hesitate to contact us if you have further questions. Feel free to subscribe to our channel and have a look at our tutorial playlist for more helpful videos. See you soon, Felix from Verify.